Okay, welcome back. It's Capital Goat Hunter, and as promised, we're going to work on a smaller hand dredge as opposed to the two inch hand dredge I did in the last video. This one's going to be an inch and a quarter with an overall length of about 26 inches. This is going to help you get into tighter areas on the creek bed, in cracks, behind boulders. It's just going to get you a smaller material because the smallest opening is about a half inch. So you won't get anything bigger than about a half inch inside of your tool. We're going to go through the parts that you're going to need real quick, the tools that you're going to need, and then we'll build it. Should be a pretty quick video. I'm not going to go into that deep of thought into this because uh, there's really nothing to it. Uh, the biggest thing about it is the gasket, that seal you're going to have inside of your piston. I go into greater detail in my two inch hand dredge video. So just uh, watch that real quick. It's in the middle, about 25 seconds. Um, it just shows you how I shaved it a little more detail to get the fit in there to get a nice seal. So without further ado, we'll get started. Okay, so now on to the parts of the hand dredge. We're gonna have a piece of inch and a quarter cut at 16 inches, a half inch piece of PVC cut at 19 inches, a half inch piece of PVC cut at 10 inches with a 45 degree angle on the one end. That's gonna be the end that actually goes into the gravel. Half inch PVC at five inches. This is part of your handle at the end. There's a half inch PVC end cap, two inch and a quarter couplers. And then here you have a half inch PVC T or 90 degree elbow. That's gonna be for your handle. This half inch PVC coupler, cut one end off of it and then file down. It's gonna look like this. And you file it down just enough so it slides over a half inch piece of PVC. That's gonna help retain that gasket seal on this half inch PVC. The next piece you're gonna to have to modify a little bit is an inch and a quarter to three quarter PVC reducer. File the inside with a round file, as you see right there. And you wanna file it down just enough so a half inch PVC slides inside of it. Then you need an inch and a quarter to a half inch PVC reducer and then your half inch foam pipe insulation that's glued together with Gorilla Glue, zip tied to dry overnight. And this you can buy in like a six foot chunk from uh, Home Depot. All right, we'll get down to the tools and we'll get building. Okay, here's the tools needed. Pretty basic uh, PVC cement, Gorilla Glue for the gasket, a knife, a pair of cutters, a round file, a hacksaw to cut the PVC, and then that wax string is used uh, for the gasket to make sure it doesn't come apart inside of your tool. And then obviously a tape measure to make your measurements. And this is the parts list with how much everything costs from Home Depot. So about 25 bucks, not including the tools. That's how much it costs to build this. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our gasket, we glued it last night. We're going to cut the tie wraps off. Take those off. And then if you have a bunch of glue hanging out afterwards, it just peels right off. It's not gonna damage anything. Just make sure there's no glue on the outside of your gasket that could ruin the seal. Okay, so once that's done, this is gonna be what it slides onto, and then it's gonna sit inside of your inch and a quarter PVC. Now, you can do this real quick. See how it goes in? You can kind of dry fit it. See, mine won't go in, it's kind of tight, right? And if you can imagine, once you put it on your half inch PVC, it's gonna actually make it expand a little more. So what you can do, you can take your knife, make sure it's a really sharp blade, and just lightly just kind of score. Okay, this is a really dull knife. I did not change the blade. I think I'll do that real quick. Take a break. I got a blade right here. Actually, there's a blade without the knife. Just take this and just shave just a little bit off like that. See, 
Not much coming off, actually. Just a hair, right? And just do that all the way around until it fits inside of your inch and a quarter. So I'll do this real quick, and then we'll get going. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna start gluing. Oh, crap. If you're wearing nice clothes, take them off because the purple primer will stain. Okay, so we're gonna take our half inch PVC at 19 inches and we're gonna glue, throw some gloves here, real quick, maybe, maybe not. All right. So take a primer, and we're gonna primer just the edge, the one end. You can let that dry a little bit if you want to. Really, it's not gonna to matter too much. And then take your glue, your cement, go like that. Then take your half inch PVC end cap, just glue it on there. Make sure you twist, like so, and let it dry. Next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take your gasket that you shaved down, and you're gonna run that in over your half inch, just like that. If it splits where it was separated and glued, don't worry too much about that, because we're gonna take some tape or some string, we're gonna make it nice. There you go, now you got that in there. Now take your half inch PVC coupler that we cut one end off and then we shade it with a round file and we're gonna glue that onto our piston rod right here. Make sure you use this in a well ventilated area. It is stinky. Okay. So now this coupler here that you shaved down is gonna sit right inside and just have it tight enough to where it just touches that gasket, okay? And let that dry. Now here's where you're gonna take your tape. I won't show it in the video, but just take your tape and do a wrap around here and a wrap around here on, on the two ends and just tie it pretty tight Make sure your knot's where the groove is. That will prevent that slit from reopening. So do it real quick and then we'll continue. Okay, so I have that taped with the wax string. Wax string. I have it knotted up uh, so, it won't so it will prevent that from splitting. Next thing you wanna do, you wanna take your inch and a quarter PVC, cut it 16 inches, and we're gonna drive this down. Should be dry now onto or into I went down to where it stopped on the table so here you'll see the end cap right there okay so it was kind of tight right but once you put water in there it's going to self lubricate that gasket so don't worry about it if it's too tight okay so next we're going to take our inch and a quarter to half inch PVC reducer and our inch and a quarter one of our inch and a quarter PVC couplers. I don't glue this part. Reason being is because if I want to take it off and clean the inside of my tube, if you glue it, you're not gonna be able to do that. So I just jam this in here until it won't go anymore, okay? That way it comes off. Then I take my reducer, same thing with this. All right. Now you can take your half inch PVC at 10 inches with the, with the 45 on it and just jam that in there. Trust me, there's enough on here um, where enough, enough friction where it will still do uh, a good suction. If you wanted to, you could glue the reducer into the coupler. As long as you can still pop this off, you're good to go. All right, now once that's done, you're gonna go on the back side of your tool. You're gonna take your inch and a quarter to three quarter PVC that we 
took a round file to, and you're gonna take another coupler, inch and a quarter coupler. This one, you are going to glue. So we'll take our primer, we'll go on the inside of this one, we'll go on the outside of this one, and then we'll take our glue, or cement, go around, go around here, we'll glue that on like that. Give it a twist and let it dry. Okay. Now once that's done, you're going to do the same thing for the reducer. Go on the outside of this with your primer and go on the inside. Actually, you can go on the inside of this if you want to. It's going to be kind of hard because of that half inch PVC. So just take your glue, just go around like this. It'll work just fine. And then you can slide this in there and go down until it stops. So that's why you don't wear nice clothes doing this, because you'll get purple on you. Okay, so once that's dry, now you can either take your 90 or your T, and you're gonna glue that to the end of your tool. What this does, it just gives you something to pull as you're pulling back your suction. So I'm gonna either try, I'm gonna probably go with the T, on a, on a two inch, I went with the 90 and this, which you can totally do, wanted to. I just think for space wise, it might work a little better with the T on there. All right, so I'll glue that on real quick and we'll get it going. You wanna make sure and glue this on because if you don't glue it on, it's gonna pop out like I just demonstrated earlier. Again, there's plenty of glue on here. It's not going to come off. Twist it. Let it dry. Same thing on this one. Primer it. Glue it. Twist it. Let it dry. Okay. We'll let that dry for about five minutes or so, and then we'll um, get a bucket full of water and we'll try and suck some water out of it, okay? Okay, okay so a few minutes have passed. Everything's pretty much dry right now. As you can see, I got a little bucket full of water here and the tool is completed. Just to show you real quick, um, I'll just pull back on it. It got a lot easier once I got water in there. And you can see it obviously sucks up water coming out a lot slower because I just let it come out by the gravity. But if I, it's empty, pull back on it and then push, this whole cavity here fills with water. So let's go down to the creek and actually try and see how it pulls up some fines. Okay, so I'm down here by the creek. Give it a couple sucks, maybe three or four. And uh, I'll show you how much material it gets out of it. I wish I would have had it recording, but it rained today and uh, I totally slipped and busted my ass uh, on the way down here. So um, that sucked. I wish I would have got it on camera though, but it's so all dirty, of course. So as you see, the pan was empty. A lot of nice dark material comes out of there. Just push it in. And hopefully your pan won't fall over like mine just did. What's nice about this is that big rocks won't get stuck in it because they can't go inside of that half inch hole. And if they do, just take it off the end here and clean it out. All right, so I just took, I don't know, four or five out of there. But it works. So easy tool, a few minutes to make, uh, works good. Getting to the tight areas, 
and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Until next time, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next time, but we'll figure it out. We'll keep gold panning. All right, talk to you later.